So then we've got the actions, which are also quite cool. You've got some cool stuff here. So you have the custom video action, which is exact, almost the same, well, actually exactly the same as the video action you get in ScreenFlow. So basically you can put this action and you have a certain amount of time where you can do whatever you want, rotate, scale, everything, drop opacity, everything you can change here and basically it makes a custom video action. So then you got the presets actions which are, which are already made here, so fade in, fade out, flip horizontally, flip vertically, uh, restore to normal, smart focus, smart focus at time, spin, zoom in, zoom out, uh, so what you're probably wondering is smart focus because that's a quite a nice feature it's um, quite neat there so you can just add the smart focus to your screen and it's gonna take a while Turn it. still it doesn't work well I guess that's kind of a glitch there or a bug however however you wanna call it uh, this is not normal I mean I tried it yesterday and it was working quite good and smart focus was doing quite good but I'll explain you uh, what smart focus is basically smart focus is um, every it, it doesn't put your screen blurry but every time you go on uh, a window so for example I'm right here for example I've got one window open smart focus automatically is going to zoom on uh, that window so it's automatically gonna focus so you don't need to make every time a video action um, for each window that pops up to zoom up or not so uh, that's quite cool so that's for uh, smart focus so these are all the filters and things and then you got uh, audio effects you can raise the volume lower the volume custom audio action or audio fade in or out so uh, there you go for all the features here which there are the extra features which Greenfield doesn't have um, and here you've got the standard uh, options which ScreenFlow also has um, of rotating and doing everything there. So what I think about this application, I'm probably still going to use ScreenFlow because um, especially for the custom video action, it's like you need time to make each video action. You need like It takes way more time to make a video action than Camtasia right now because in ScreenFlow you just hit add video action and you do your movement and it's done you know here you've got the drag and drop and then go before after and then change and everything so I don't know if if you've got the problem with that but also what I don't like about Camtasia what ScreenFlow does have is the callout which I liked a lot basically the callout you can zoom in on the position of your mouse or uh, you can zoom in on uh, on a window so I'm going to show you that right now so for example you got a window which is quite small right here and right now what I'm doing is uh, a zoom a call out of my window which basically zooms up the only the window and not the background uh, which I think is quite cool so uh, that uh, uh, ScreenFlow does have I think there are some uh, things that ScreenFlow does better Though I do like a lot the filters and the actions pre-made in Camtasia, uh, I hope in future versions of Camtasia there will, will be more uh, transitions, actions, and filters because uh, these like are interesting, which is because it's the only feature which um, ScreenFlow doesn't have. So yeah, that's it for Camtasia. Honestly, I think for my videos, I'm still going to use ScreenFlow because I think it takes more time to edit in Camtasia than in ScreenFlow and for about the same result so uh, maybe I'm gonna improve in Camtasia because I still gotta get used to it a bit but uh, I'm not sure so I'll tell you anyway when I start recording with Camtasia in one of my videos I'll tell you if I'm recording with Camtasia and ScreenFlow because I really wanna experiment with, experiment with both uh, application. So yeah, that's it for my app preview slash comparison with ScreenFlow and Camtasia. So I hope you all like this. Um, so yeah, I hope it wasn't too long. One thing I want to add, uh, the Camtasia 
hotkey to start recording is the same the default is the same as ScreenFlow so be sure you don't have Camtasia and ScreenFlow open at the same time because if you stop um, recording with ScreenFlow with the hotkey it automatically starts recording with Camtasia with the same hotkey so, so be sure to change those hotkeys because it's quite confusing because they got exactly the same hotkey so uh, that's it I hope it wasn't too long so thanks for watching Please leave comments, rate, subscribe. Peace.